Hi folks, I'm Dennis. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change the blades on a Husqvarna lawn tractor. I got a 22 horsepower, 46 inch tractor. It's two bladed deck. And uh, I'm going to show you how to safely change those blades out yourself so you don't have to pay a shot to do it. Let's get started. All right, this is a, uh, it's a yard tractor, a YTH 22 V46 Husqvarna. Um, I used it all last year and have pretty much beaten the blades up because I've used it as, as, as much of a bush hog as I have a tra uh, grass cutter. Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, raise the deck all the way up. This is kind of true on any tractor. Just go ahead and get the deck as high as you can get it. On this tractor, I'm not, I don't really find a good place on the front to jack it up. So, uh, and I don't want to try to work under it with the deck just lifted up, so I'm going to actually jack it up. And I'm, what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to use the, uh, the hitch point and jack up the back end um, and uh, do it like that. We'll see how that works. If it doesn't, we'll back up and regroup. So I'm going to put some chocks under the front tires, want the front tire here and here, and then I'm going to put the jack uh, right back here and lift up the tractor and then go from there okay got it jacked up this is not the greatest arrangement but it'll work got a floor jack up underneath the uh, the hitch point now what you have to be careful of when you're doing anything on these lawn tractors is a lot of this stuff is like cast aluminum like the transaxle the, that's up underneath this hitch point and you don't want to lift up on that because you're likely to crack a housing. So just make sure if you're going to do it this way that you're only jacking on this piece right here because it's just stamped out metal. It's kind of part of the frame of the thing and it's not going to hurt it. But what you don't want to do is like jack on, say, you know, this cast part. Um, another thing you can do, and you see I've also got chocks under the wheel keep the tractor from moving once I jack it up once you get on an angle it's apt to roll on you um, I probably should put some blocks underneath the back or some jack stands but I'm not going to uh, another thing you can do if you don't have a floor jack um, or a convenient way to jack it up is if you've got a low spot in your yard any kind of a low spot that's narrower than the distance between the front tire and the back tire what you can do is just drive the tractor over that that puts your deck over the low spot, which gives you some room to work. So that's another option. I've done that before in the past. All right, so I'm going to get the camera underneath there, and we're going to uh, replace these blades. I've got two new blades. I went ahead and, and bought brand because they were actually cheaper than uh, aftermarket. These are 46-inch blades um, made for this tractor. I actually bought mulching blades. They've got there's a difference. The mulching blades have a have a little bit of a different profile over here, um, and they've also got bagging blades. And the bagging blades are a little bit more high lift, so that it pushes the the cuttings through your uh, deck and up into the bag. If you use a bagging attachment, I don't use a bagging attachment, so I actually want uh, the mulching blades. Um, make sure you get the right one for whatever you're doing. All right, so here's the blades. There's one blade there, and uh, sorry about the funky angle. There's the other blade. You got a center bolt right here. That's all that holds the blade on. There's a star stud there, and uh, take this bolt out. There's a star-shaped hole in the blade. Take this blade off, put the new one on, make sure it's on the stud properly all the way, and then tighten up this bolt. If you lose these bolts, don't just go use a regular bolt. These are heat treated bolts. Um, regular bolt will uh, will wear out on the head underneath this deck and then you won't be able to get it off later because of all the dirt and crap like that that wears the corners down. Since it's Husqvarna, I'm gonna guess that, they're, that everything's metric. Um, I tried a 5 8 uh, wrench and a 16 millimeter socket. The 16 fits a little better, so I'm going to use that. Um, I don't know if all the tractors are the same, so just need to make sure that you size this properly so you don't round off the corners. Um, 
these bolts come out counterclockwise they're right hand thread just like anything else I recommend that you put a glove on the hand you're not going to turn the the ratchet or the wrench with so you can hold the blade so you don't cut yourself um, so it's real simple you just put your ratchet on there and uh, make sure you're loosening it try to not get in the way of the camera here as best I can take your glove hand and hang on to the end of the blade here and then they're re usually really really tight be careful for the quick release so that you don't slip and cut your uh, wrench hand and then usually once you loosen it it's pretty much a piece of cake comes right out and you'll see that there's a uh, there's a washer a big old washer on this thing make sure you it's they're usually cupped like this on most tractors uh, lawnmowers um, so make sure you keep it on there the right way I just stand mine up and you see the star hole in the bolt or the blade and the the uh, shaft here is, is shaped the same way all right as you can see these blades are shot out and uh, so they definitely needed to be replaced. Now I'm going to get the new one out and we'll put it on. Alright, now when you get the new blade, before you unpackage these new blades, hold them up to the blade you just took out and make sure it's the same blade. Just to make sure you got the right one before you take it out of the package. What you'll notice, I don't know if you can see it on camera or not, there's some stamping here. It'll give you a part number and that kind of stuff. But here's what's what's important. Right here it says grass side. That's This is the grass side of the blade. Some of them will say bottom, some of them will say top. Um, it just depends on what kind of blade you've got. But make sure that you put it on with either the grass side to the bottom, or if it's stamped bottom, put that to the bottom, put that down. Um, or if it's stamped top or deck side, something like that on the other side, make sure that's going that's on the top side. So anyway, this one says this one is stamped grant grass side. So we're going to put it in like this because this is the grass side and that goes down. If it's got a label on it like this one did right over the hole, you don't have to worry about getting the whole label off. Doesn't matter, just as long as you can get to the hole because you're going to tighten up on it anyway. And the grass and the dirt, and everything's going to take care of that label. So it doesn't really matter in what orientation, as far as what degree of rotation where you put it. Um, they're going to, they're belt driven, so they're going to move and, and get out of sync anyway. They're not going to stay in the same relative, the two blades aren't going to stay in the same relative position. So it doesn't matter where you put it. Just make sure it fits onto that, that star shaft real well like that. And you kind of feel it snap on there and you can see that star uh, shaft is coming through the blade. So that's all good. Hold it up with one hand, get your bolt in there. Sometimes now what I'll do, if these things get a little rusty over time, mine are in good shape and they're nice and clean, I'll put a little bit of white lithium grease on there to keep them from seizing up. These are going to be...
All right, well, I told you a story. I'm not going to use my torque wrench because it's a half inch torque wrench and I don't have an adapter here with me um, to use a 3 8 drive socket nor do I have a, uh, a half inch drive 16 millimeter socket so I'm just going to have to torque it. kind of guess at the 50 foot pounds and uh, go from there now the other thing you can do with a lot of these decks if you can't hold it by hand you can take a you can take a 2 by 4 a short length and a lot of them if you work you can wedge it like up in here let that blade come around sometimes you have to try to find you a good spot but you can let that blade come around and press into the into the 2 by 4 and that'll hold it for you um, Sometimes that's easier to do than to hold on to the blade. Make sure you're on tighten. There we go. That's good and tight. That ought to be close to 50. Maybe a little more, but I'm not going to try to kill myself getting it too tight and break something. As long as it's good and tight, it'll be just fine. And then uh, there's nothing else to do but do the other side and... Uh, it's good to go. Okay, so rather than bore you with the details of uh, putting on a second blade because it's exactly like the first, um, there's both blades on. I've already made sure that they're fully up where they're supposed to be, all the way up against the, the shaft shoulder. They're on the shaft. The, the center bolts are put in and uh, snugged up and torqued. Um, now the only thing to do is to uh, let the tractor down and uh, get the chocks out and I'm good to go ready to cut grass. Alright folks, well thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like. Check out some other videos. There's all kinds of how-to things that I'm putting up and I'll be putting up some more uh, here pretty soon so be safe cutting your grass make sure you use eye protection ear protection and uh, make sure you use sunscreen um, till next video I'll see you later thanks